I didn't have a pathway. I was academically not a good student, but I always found myself very social. I was always talking to people, you know, always trying to make people feel warm and comfortable around me. And it's funny because the school I went to in back in Colombia, I'm from Bogota. Yeah, there was a point, I think, in ninth grade or eighth grade that you have to choose between social sciences and like mathematics. And I'm like, well, I want money. And what keeps money? Well, engineering. And I wanted to do like oil engineering. <laughs> so I went to those classes, but I was a horrible student. So I I was in the wrong place. Honestly, I chose out of something so external, you know, like money that doesn't generate anything. So I migrated to United States right after high school, maybe when I was 19. And I started just working low wage jobs, kind of warehouses, uh, dishwasher. I wanted to not work in those jobs anymore. So I thought school was an option for me. So at 26, I started uh, in a community college and I had no idea what I wanted to study, but I thought, well, I have to start somewhere. My first thing was I study uh, political science. I knew I was interested enough to learn about the political system and how decisions are made at that. And I had a lens that it was equity lens or justice lens. So I center all my classes around that. Well, I graduated. I didn't have a job. I didn't know what kind of jobs I could find. So I was like, well, what is my other interest? And it's like, oh, urban planning. I want to learn how cities are built and how those decisions are made. And so I went into a master's and I took the decision. I was 32 at that age. So I was like, hmm, all right, <laughs> I'm already can of well for this, but I'm going to continue and learn how it goes. And luckily I was able to, to, to do a lot of things and be in a lot of spaces. So there was a moment that I was volunteering for this nonprofit. And the idea was to, the, the goal of the, the nonprofit, was, it was in a community, it's a food desert. And the idea was to bring fresh, fresh products to this community via market. So these people will kind of get a lot of fresh products and open like a little store for, for the community. At the same time, they will be growing those products in that same space. So there was an agricultural thing there. The idea was to bring the community to talk about what products they liked, if they will be interested in growing themselves, what's the prices and stuff. So I was involved in that part just because I spoke Spanish or speak Spanish. So through that, that was the time that I was like, man, I really love talking to people. I really love just sharing resources with people, being kind of like a helper and being like that. So that was for me the point that I call my mom and I'm like, mom, I, I, I figure it out. I think I want to go in this direction. I love it. I think this is what makes my heart warm and makes me happy. That's what I've been doing for the past 11 years now. I like to work for companies that support their, their values and their mission. So my first jobs have always been around food justice or housing justice or social justice um, with, you know, a lens on BIPOCs or minorities or, you know, marginalized communities. And I'm like, all right, well, I can work in a school district. I know that I can work for resource centers. I know that. What else can I do? So I started looking uh, online on what kind of jobs they're looking for my title, specifically community engagement. And I found this company, this nonprofit down in Portland that was working around clean technologies. I applied. I said, well, I don't know much about clean technologies, uh, but I know about com community engagement. That's kind of like how I got into clean technologies. Um, that nonprofit invested in me. They gave me, you know, some, a lot of like great resources so I can expand my understanding on, on, on the field. And now that's, uh, this is my new pathway now.
if somebody asks me, what would be your advice? It's more follow your heart and money will come. You know, I think our world needs passion, needs people to be happy and to be curious and to be able to put themselves out there and and everything kind of falls into place. And and I think that everything contributes to your to your professional life. Every experience that you do, every conversation, everything that you do. So the more you're able to do things, you know, and, and learn from things, yeah, the more holistic person and professional you can be. And that feeds back into your own soul, but also into your own profession, I guess.